All right, so I had somebody ask me how I made this little flash animation. So let's preview this, and I'll turn it up so you can hear the music. So somebody was asking how I built this little flash animation. And basically what I did is I built it in QuizMaker. And what I would do is I kind of use QuizMaker not as a quizzing tool, but as a way to quickly create flash animations. And uh, what I did here was I figured, well, I could use this as a branding sequence to open my course. So this is just a quick demo of that. And what I did is I made the player completely transparent so it blends into the slide. And I don't necessarily want the learners to have to view my whole branding sequence. And this could be as fancy as you want it to be. Um, so I want to have them have the option to skip it. So I just converted the text in the submit button to read skip this. So they could skip that and that then would take them to the regular e-learning course that they would see here. And if we go backwards to the slide, let's, uh, let's change the view mode. You can see that uh, the player is completely transparent so you don't see the quiz maker player in there. And that's the real key to that. So let's go ahead and uh, do a quick overview of what I did to create this. So the first thing is if you look at the blog post I talked about using clip art and breaking it apart. So I'm using style 1576 and you might recognize uh, the combination of images. So I have this image here and then I have this image here. And What I did is I brought those into PowerPoint. So let's um, go into PowerPoint and um, you'll just see the remnants of it here. But what I did is I broke all the clip art apart. And so you can see here I've got a backdrop. Here I've got the circles. And what's nice with PowerPoint is once you break it all apart, you can right click. So if I want to save the circle, I just right click on it and I'll get the option to save as picture. And then I can save it as a PNG. And so that's what I did is I broke it all apart, got the elements I wanted, saved them as pictures. And I ended up with this. So if you can see, I've got a number of images. You can see the circles that I have here. You've got the uh, different characters that come in. And once I have those images, I can just bring them into QuizMaker. So if we look at QuizMaker, I, it's basically just a blank slide. And I kind of call these splash screens or you know something that introduces something. So um, all I have to do is open up the blank slide that I created. What's nice with QuizMaker, if you're not familiar with it, is that you can just enter your content in the form view or you can go to slide view and you can do what I like to say is build a flash animations in PowerPoint Comfort. Because if I turn off the player here, you'll notice it looks a lot like a PowerPoint slide. And you can see all the different components that I have now on the screen and those are those images that I had saved earlier. So all I do is if we look at the timeline, is I'm just adding the images to the screen and then I just set the sequence. Let's make this really big here. So we set the sequence so you can see I've got some sounds, I've got some pictures, and I just have the sequence of when the sound comes in and when the pictures come in. So when we actually uh, play this, we'll play it here across the track, you'll see uh, this play out here as, it, as the playhead moves along the track and then you can hear the audio and, and all that. So it's basically, I went into PowerPoint, ungrouped clip art, saved the different parts, brought them into QuizMaker, and then I have the different images layered in my timeline and that's how I create the animation. Now to get the, uh, get rid of the player, all you have to do is, let's close this, is you go into your player templates and I happen to have a transparent template, but we'll just do one from scratch. So let's just go ahead and use one of the default ones and we'll edit it. Uh, we'll, um, we'll create a new one actually. We'll call this uh, test. And then when I create my new template, I've got my color options. So if we go back to the original here, let's look at that. You'll notice that there's no, no um, menu options here or anything except for the skip this button. So what we want to do is in the template settings we want to go ahead and turn off all of these things. We don't want anything to display. We don't want the display settings. We don't want the title. We don't want the question list. We don't want the timer. You know, you just uh, turn off anything that's going to show up on the screen. Here's where you'd go into and change the submit to read what you want it to read. And then in the colors you're just going to go into your color scheme. We'll edit that and then you can see there's a transparency setting. So you just select what you want and make it transparent.